right, guys, welcome to the Flash After Show, where I talk about each episode of The Flash from each week. And today we're talking about Season 1, Episode 9, entitled The Man in the Yellow Suit. And it is the mid-season finale for The Flash already. Can you believe that? Um, my first reaction to this episode, wow. Wow. So much has happened in this episode. And if you guys watched my after shows before, I write down the positives, stuff I liked about the episode, the negative stuff I didn't like. And I just basically just talk about all that. And that's really how I do the after show. That's pretty much about it. But let's get right into the positives here. Barry... <coughs> wow! I don't know what that was. But uh, Barry and Joe decorating the Christmas tree. Um, which I like the fact that this episode gave us a Christmas feel. You know, it leads us right into Christmas. So, you know, that's that, that was cool. I didn't think they would do that. But they did. Um, the, yeah, the, Barry and Joe... Uh, you know, they're trying, Joe's decorating the Christmas tree, and Barry's just sitting there, and then he uses his speed to, uh, put everything on the, on the tree, and then Joe's like, look, it's not about how fast you can do it, um, so Barry, so Barry undoes it, and then two seconds later, Iris walks in, I, I like that. Speaking of Iris, um, Barry giving Iris her, uh, her mom's ring, um, I thought that was a great gift to give her, um, so yeah, that's that's that. Um, Wells Wells drink and drive line. There's a scene where uh, you know Joe talks about um, his mother's eggnog or something like that, and uh, how it's it, it's alcoholic eggnog. And uh, they ask him if they ask Wells if he wants some, and he's like, No, I don't want to drink and drive because he's driving the wheelchair. I thought that was great. Um, you know, small lines like that I always appreciate. Um, Eddie gives Iris a box for Christmas, and it looks like a box for an engagement ring, and I'm like, he's going to propose. I don't like that. But luckily, he didn't propose. He, it was a key, you know, asking Iris to, to move in. Um, so I like the fact that Eddie didn't propose, because I don't like Eddie. I don't. I'm sorry. He's about the one thing... On the show, at least right now, that I don't really like all that much, and I could really care less about. Hopefully, that changes. Um, flashbacks of uh, Nora Allen's murder. Nora Barry's mom. Uh, I, you know, I'm a guy, I'm a sucker for flashbacks, so I was I appreciated the Nora Allen's murder. We we got to see a little bit more of it. Um, so yeah, that was great. Barry versus Reverse Flash, the first time. Wow! Wow! What a visually stunning sequence between Barry and Reverse Flash, and that that was awesome. Barry wants to fight, and uh, he's he's ready to fight Reverse Flash, but Joe's and Joe and Wells, of course, you know they they don't think he's ready. I like the fact that Joe's Joe and Wells are trying to protect Barry. You know they don't want him dead. Um. So, they are trying to protect him, and I appreciated that. Uh, you know, I always like when, when they, they do stuff like that. Um, Barry visiting his father. Again, I'm a sucker for those scenes as well, when Barry goes to visit his father. and you know, there, Whenever he goes, you know something emotional is about to happen. It's going to be an emotional dialogue scene, and it was great. It was, it was fucking great. Um, Barry finally telling Iris how he feels. Yes, um, he finally told Iris how he feels about her, right to her face, as opposed to just, like, hitting at it. He said, look, this is how I feel about you. I felt this way about you since I was young. Um, and her reaction, you know, she's not immature about it. She's not, well, she is freaking out about it, but she doesn't, like, outburst. She kind of freaks out silently in her head, and she's, like, in shock, which, how can you be in shock, though? I mean, you really didn't see that coming? But, you know, I liked how she handled that that, that situation. Um, Wells. Wells and team trying to catch Reverse Flash. <coughs> I apologize, guys. Um, so Wells and Joe and the cops, they have this plan to capture Reverse Flash. And it works for a minute. And I, I like that whole sequence. 
and then Reverse Flash comes in and just beats the shit out of Wells. Like, he's beating him to a pulp. Awesome. Awesome. I love the character of Wells, but that, that, that whole scene was perfect. Uh, and then Joe tries to save Wells. I thought that was great, because this is a guy that you really barely know. Um, you're just kind of... Like, I feel like they're kind of becoming friends, slowly, very slowly. But I th think that's what it's building towards. I know the common thread here is Barry, but the fact that Wells was dying and he actually saved him, not because he's a cop, I don't think, because I, I think, I truly believe it's because the fact that he wants to become friends with him. I could be totally wrong on that, but never know. Uh, and then Firestorm. Yeah, I'm going to talk about Firestorm more in the negatives, but Firestorm saves Barry from Reverse Flash. Uh, it was kind of weird, it just kind of popped up out of nowhere, but, uh, you know, I liked seeing Robbie ML uh, as Firestorm. Um, so, more scenes with him, uh, with some of the stuff improved. But more scenes with him, you know, uh, trying to save Barry, because Barry is not fully capable to do all that much yet. Um, let's see, where was I on my list? Joe telling Eddie about metahumans. I don't know if this was the right time for Eddie to find out. Maybe it was, but I feel like they, he could have found a way around it as opposed to just telling him, look, there's metahumans out there. Um, I mean, I don't know why it's in the positives. I forgot why I wrote down the positives. I don't know. Uh, then there's an emotional scene where Joe, it's between Joe and Barry, and um, Joe's basically telling Barry, look, when I took you in after your mom died, you know, I thought I was doing you a favor, I thought I was, you know, doing the right thing, but it turns out you were the one who was changing our lives, and, uh, you know, I need my Barry, is his line, and that got me all choked up. I, I, was, an, I was emotional from that scene. Well done. Um... Another speedster. Okay, so, um, after the whole reverse flash thing is done, Cisco is talking to Joe about how he was noticing, like, the lightning patterns, um, between the fight of flash and reverse flash, and he was talking about how it could be possible that there was another speedster there, um, at Nora Allen's murder. So, you know, I can't wait to see where they go with that. Is it Barry? Is it some other... Is there more than one reverse flash? I mean, what's what's going on there? I can't wait to find that out. Um, is Dr. Wells reverse flash? Now, this is down on my positives and my negatives because I have mixed about this. Is Dr. Wells really reverse flash? We knew something's up with him since episode one. We've seen him do all this, you know, kind of weird things at the end of each episode. But I am not convinced that he is Reverse Flash. And if he is, I don't think he's the only one. Like, what would be the point? What's his purpose? Um, you know, because he's trying to protect Barry as well. He's not trying to kill him. But Reverse Flash is trying to kill Flash. So, I'm not convinced that Wells is the Reverse Flash. And if he is, he can't be the only one. And I don't know anything about the comics when it comes to the Flash, so um, I don't know who the Reverse Flash is in um, the comics. Now let's get into the negatives because there are stuff that I didn't like about the episode, believe it or not. But overall, this was a really great episode. Why was Roddy, aka Firestorm, following Caitlyn around if he doesn't want Caitlyn to follow him? Um. You knew at some point that she was going to notice you, and then she was going to follow you, and then he just doesn't want her to follow, follow him at all. I don't get that, uh, but hopefully that'll be further explored. Why did Reverse Flash attack everybody but Eddie? You know, he beats the shit out of Wells, Wells gets saved, then he's, then he's beating all the other cops, and then he goes to Eddie, and he just stands there and looks at him. That, and then he escapes. Why didn't he attack Eddie? Is Reverse Flash Eddie from the future or something? That's what I'm thinking. That's why I'm not... 
That's another reason why I'm not 100% convinced Dr. Wells is Reverse Flash. Um, but obviously he knows about the future, so he knew about Reverse Flash. Maybe in the future Reverse Flash is defeated and Wells just keeps the suit to do like experiments and stuff on it. I, I don't know what's going on there. Um, lot, lots of questions when it comes to Wells and reverse the whole Reverse Flash thing. Um, and then, again, back to Firestorm. Firestorm eventually tells Caitlin, look, don't come look for me. Well, why... Why were you following her in the first place, knowing that, you know, she's smart and she's going to notice you? Um, whatever. And, uh, again, is Dr. Wells really reverse Flash? That's about it. Uh, I, that's my positives and negatives for the mid-season finale of uh, The Flash, Season 1, Episode 9, The Man in the Yellow Suit. Um, really, really great episode. Awesome action scenes with Flash and Reverse Flash and the whole, you know, beating the shit out of Wells. And also some emotional scenes like with him when, uh, with Barry and his dad and uh, with Barry and Joe. And uh, kind of emotional between Joe and I, or not Joe and Iris, Barry and Iris. Um, so, yeah, and then that look. That, you know, they kind of give each other at the end of the episode when, uh, you know, it, it, th things are going to be weird for them now, but I'm sure they'll, they'll get over it. So, guys, what did you think of the mid-season finale for The Flash, season one, episode nine, entitled The Man in the Yellow Suit? I can't wait until we come back from this mid-season break. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I'm, I'm really digging this show. Well, see you later.